uh, two window motors that I've made. I guess uh, they'd be considered mini for some. This one's a little bit larger here and uh, I have a couple capacitors hooked up to the sequential bipolar circuit. Uh, we'll charge capacitors up here. It's a good exercise. And uh, it should run a, a while on that while we look at the motor. Uh, as you can see, I have six magnets. It's per usual for my build. I don't know how to do anything else. Um, the uh, coil is about 400 turns, about 400 foot of tri-filer. Uh, two trigger coils so that we trigger off of both sides of the circuit. Uh, a lot of plexiglass, nothing, uh, nothing uh, that can be attracted to magnets. The, the shaft is uh, stainless, the bearing housing is stainless, the bearings are uh, ceramic. Uh, you can see I've got everything keyed together so the plastic fits nice. Hole in the bottom of the uh, motor so that you can support the uh, rotor while you're uh, installing the shaft. <clears throat> On these motors the uh, uh, guide plates for the coils are removable so if you take the top guide plates off you can uh, remove the coil. Uh, I've got little clearance slots in the uh, plastic so that you can get the uh, wire ties through and around the coil and that's pretty much it. There's a balance slot that's cut in the front of the uh, the rotor and I've got a, a couple little pieces of solder in there. The circuit as I mentioned is a uh, sequential bipolar uh, Bedini circuit I'm using some radio control connectors for RC airplanes here. These are um, Dean's Ultra connectors. The switch uh, connects the uh, the bridge power uh, and and sends it back to the capacitor or battery to give you a little bit of extra runtime on whatever you're using for an input. The transistors are. Um, um, MJE 21194s and 193s, which is typical of the Bedini stuff. I have a couple of uh, large size trimmer pots, more than what the circuit calls for. The, um, these are 5K and these are 100K. A couple of uh, bulbs to protect the, uh, the pots. And uh, that's about it. I'm using an edge connector here and uh, that's hooked up to the primary and two secondary coils. Uh, this uh, motor has run already. This has only been running two days. I, I ran it overnight with these two little little rechargeable AA cells and through the night it ran for 16 hours and the cells dropped down about two one hundred hundredths of a volt and that was mostly at the beginning so I don't know this is running awfully efficient it's uh, uh, it needs some more tune-up I think the transistors are a little too big and the uh, balance isn't quite yet uh, there uh, the bearings are just a little stiff as far as I'm concerned, but not bad. So, you know, I have hopes of it uh, even improving from where it's at. I put this to the back here a little bit and bring out this one. This is actually the mini. <laughs> get things organized here. This is sort of a version of a build on the transistor circuit and uh, this is the same kind of rotor here's the uh, what the rotor looks like before the magnets so you can get in there you can see it's machined pretty close 
and this guy will run just fine. You can see I'm lighting up the uh, uh, the neon bulb here. Let me bring it a little closer. Get an aim on it. There you can see. Of course, this motor is built the same way. There's about 300 turns on this motor. Uh, you know what? It might be 400. I don't remember. But anyhow, that works fine. Uh, this motor will also run on uh, a capacitor. It's not as nice as the uh, uh, sequential bipolar circuit, but uh, they both run as chargers. Let me move this one to the back. This one is still going yet. I don't have time to uh, wait for this to stop running, but it'll probably run another ten minutes or so. I don't, I don't know, maybe longer. If you crank it up really good, it'll run for hours. Well, thank you, everybody. I, I uh, like to say hello to my friends over at the uh, Monopole site and and the LRK or, or uh, Torque Max forum. And, you know, wish you happy motoring. Thank you.